Ha <laughs> oh, you did me, man. Are you a weird looking straight guy or a really weird looking gay guy? <laughs> I'd come on your face just to cover it up. How much you pay me? How much did I pay you? That was your fucking effort, was it? <laughs> when your mum gave birth, she shat you out so she could leave her pussy free for fucking the doctors. <laughs> Look, you're getting a fucking hard time for getting your phone out, you dozy cunt. <laughs> Where you from? Any idea? Just looking up at me like your fucking cat started talking. <laughs> You've got a blank face there, pal. If you held that expression for long enough in a hospital, you get fucking switched off. <laughs> From Belfast. I've heard a bit about Belfast. Apparently you have some religious worries over there. We've... We don't really take any opinion of it. It's none of our business, to be honest. <laughs> what brought you over? The ferry? <laughs> you working here? Yeah, on the brew. On the brew? <laughs> Listen to how popular that's made you in the room there. Yeah. Fucking 400 years on, Irish immigration still a fucking issue for these people. <laughs> I'll give you a job, man, because we might need to fight our way out of this fucking thing at the end, OK? <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? You're doing fucking well for yourself, man. <laughs> but your parents just wish that you'd hurry up and murder her so they could grieve properly. <laughs> They're in tears every time they see Shrek. <laughs> so it's two empty seats right in the middle. This is supposed to be sold out. Where are they? I hope they're dead in a fucking car crash. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you guys here in your fucking waistcoats and your suits? And I mean, don't answer cunts because I can fucking see that. <laughs> You don't fucking jumping about Glasgow in a fucking morning coat with a side pattern. <laughs> I once had people shouting me in this city from a moving car for wearing gloves. <laughs> gloves, you prick. As you got older, I'm nearly 40 now. This will happen to you, right? First time. What's that? Aye, thanks for shouting out like a crazy bitch. That's brilliant. That's... <laughs> I'll abuse you so badly, your gynecologist will think you've been in a fucking car crash. You love me. Yeah. I reckon your pussy's seen more action than fucking Hellman. <laughs> Where the fuck were we? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Union Jack dressed down the front of this guy. You're in fucking trouble. but we've had a few religious problems here over the years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the more mature lady. Don't mind me saying that, do you? Do you know what I think you'd look good in? 1996. <laughs> I'm only kidding. 94. <laughs> uh, you with the tattoos down there, man? You look like the pad I keep beside my phone. Hey, son, you have a bit of a fucking dim expression there. You know what I mean? You look like you only remember your own name because your mum's got it tattooed on her lower back. <laughs> How you doing, madam? Not saying you look like a schemer, you just look like you'd have a pebble dashed for jazzle. <laughs> son, you're brave. You got your fucking phone in your bra. <laughs> You did, because I fucking saw you from the wings. <laughs> Someone will get the wrong number, they'll phone up and it'll sound like I'm drowning in your tits. <laughs> it's a natural place for your phone, isn't it? Especially when your knickers have got your bottle opener in there. What's <laughs> <laughs> your story anyway? What'd you do? I'm an interior designer. You're an interior designer. I noticed some inconsistencies in the way that you've designed the exterior of your face. <laughs> Terrible way, not in a terrible way, but it's, 
It's not so much eyebrows, it's more like someone's decided to underline your head. <laughs> I God gave you eyebrows, so why not tear them off and draw them back on with no mirror my lump of coal? <laughs> what, what, what are you designing the interiors of? Offices. Offices? Houses. People's houses. Who else has houses? All houses are people's houses. <laughs> There's no fucking dog houses. Well, there are dog houses, actually, to be honest. You're right, you're fucking one step ahead. <laughs> Concentrate on the people's houses. That's where the money is. The dogs have got fuck all. <laughs> Never tried to sell a dog a lamp? You fucking strut. <laughs> What the fuck am I talking about now? <laughs> what about you, man? That's a rather strange fucking injury you've developed there. What happened to you? Burnt myself. You burnt yourself? <laughs> that sounded awfully deliberate there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> burnt myself. How did you burn yourself? I got burnt at work, Frank. You got burnt? Now you've fucking changed your story. <laughs> fucking one call to those fucking no fees lawyers and suddenly you got burnt at work. <laughs> a minute ago you burnt yourself. You're going to fucking fold in the witness box like a red-hot Mars bar. <laughs> what happened to you? Um, I work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit and uh... You work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit? <laughs> well, I can see this starting to come together like the start of an episode of Casualty, isn't it? <laughs> How do you put your elbow in something hot? I just kind of brushed against it and I was fucked. I just brushed against it and I was fucked. <laughs> It's a lovely understatement to Scottish people, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't really get us in those kind of 999 rescue shows that America has, you know what I mean? I was driving along and I just kind of fucked the car into a tree. <laughs> I ended up fucked, the car was fucked, the uh, tree was fucked. Uh, thank God there was no hot shit around. I just jumped out and rammed my fucking elbow into it like a man. <laughs> How are you doing, big monstrous guy with the tattoos there, man? You reviewing this for the digger? <laughs> Guys, I was waiting outside for you with Connect Four and a packet of ham. <laughs> Just story, man, what'd you do? Very of that. Bit of this and a bit of that. Sounds like you might be figuring in Glasgow's security community somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't imagine you mean a bit of watercolour painting and a bit of bird watching. <laughs> How you doing, baby? You alright? I'm old enough to be your dad. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it stopped him. <laughs> don't worry, we'll talk to you all. How you doing, man? What's your story? What's your hopes for the future? Uh, to be a stand-up comedian, I suppose. To be a stand-up comedian? <laughs> You want to fucking give it a try? <laughs> oh, I know you've all been raised on the fucking X Factor and you think that's how it works. <laughs> hey, fuck off. There's no way that he's had the fucking abusive childhood necessary to do this job. <laughs> what's, your, what's your real fucking plan, mate? I'll make it fucking convincing this time or I'll... <laughs> Drive you into the ground like a fucking tent peg. <laughs> See what happens. See what happens. You better get a fucking plan, son. <laughs> You're living in Glasgow in a recession. You're going to end up being the world's first ever male prostitute that has to offer a meal deal. <laughs> Mouth asshole and a soft drink for one forty-nine. <laughs> You'll be giving out nectar points. <laughs> How you doing, me man? You all right? What's your story? Where are you from? Black Hole. Black Hole? Come on. Fucking Rangers jokes aren't for 10 minutes yet. Right, everybody. Everybody <laughs> wait for it. Tell you the look you've had in your face. You know when you go to the toilet and you go for a shit and there's no toilet paper? <laughs> and you look in your pockets for something to use and all you find is a receipt. And just before you use it, you look at it and see that it's a receipt for toilet paper. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking dealing with here. <laughs> What'd you do up in Lark Hall, man? Um, don't you fucking answer, mate. 
fucking, there's nobody would fucking pay to see you in here, mate. The only way I'd pay to see you if it was in a fucking downloadable snuff video. <laughs> what do you do, mate? I work for John Lewis. You work for John Lewis? Fantastic. A surprisingly camp occupation you've got there. I take it this is where you met him. How you doing? <laughs> Yeah, that sort of look of one of life's victims about you, do you know that? You look like you're going to end your days screaming out your pin number as you're slowly folded into a sports hold all. <laughs> Some old people, hello old people. Don't worry, I'm not your enemy. Winter is your enemy. <laughs> Got a wee boy now, he's... Oh fuck, we've got someone trying to contact the Starship Enterprise here. That's, that's a fucking turn up for the books. I'll tell you how you could encore that wee performance, pal. Why don't you fucking jump? <laughs> Trust me, it'll be a fucking laugh. <laughs> you look like a fucking junkie or something, you alright, man? Oh, you're fucking nodding out there. Okay, pal, it's your story. And you fucking know who I'm talking to, but yeah, I do look like a bit of a junkie. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's your story? What'd you do? Nothing yet. Nothing yet? <laughs> There's a fucking sentence loaded with promise. <laughs> that was like a fucking stage magician there. You've seen nothing yet. <laughs> What's your plans, man? What are you working on at the moment? What are you going to fucking reveal? You're in the army. You're trying to join the army. <laughs> I've seen nothing yet. I reckon soon I could see you being blown to fucking pieces for no apparent reason. <laughs> I don't know if that's a future, do you know what I mean? <laughs> How are you doing down here? You look kind of normal for this crowd, you alright, man? What's your story, man? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you think I can't break you? <laughs> a lot of comedians used to stock put down lines. I have a private detective who rapes people. <laughs> and he does, he'll take the rehypnol himself so he can forget about you afterwards. <laughs> Where are you from, man? Cool bridge. <laughs> I can see why you want to play your cards close to your chest there. Fantastic. So who's your key worker? <laughs> what do you do, Cool Bridge? You work in a factory. What are they making there? Disposable blood units. Disposable blood units? What the fuck is a blood unit? A bag full of blood. Could your fucking life be any bleaker? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, I wouldn't sentence a sex offender to living in Coat Bridge bagging up blood. <laughs> Can you get us some? <laughs> what about you? What do you do while he's out? Does he just say he's bagging out blood and he's actually a fucking sex killer? <laughs> I'm ah, back from the blood factory. No, the factory said I need to burn all these clothes again. <laughs> Company policy. <laughs> what do you do, man? You've just finished college. What did you do at college? Hospitality and business. Hospitality <laughs> business. What a fucking pointless endeavour that was. <laughs> it's fucking Scotland. Anyone who comes to a hotel here doesn't expect hospitality. <laughs> There's your fucking room, you prick. <laughs> What about you, man? Right. What's your story, buddy? You're a student. What are you studying? Engineering. Engineering. What did you, what did you hope to build? Don't know. You don't know? <laughs> What's the fucking point of that then, man? Have some fucking ambition, man. Have at least the ambition to fucking flatten Coat Bridge, man. <laughs> flatten its fucking bogus fucking murder factories. <laughs> fucking replace the whole thing with a wee sign that just says, we're sorry. Okay? <laughs> 